What's up, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're here to pull some Pokemon today. Check this out. Every single day for about a week and a half or so, we stopped and got some McDonald's. We had, How many Happy Meals do you think we ate? Well, we got four of Pete and... Wait. <laughs> <laughs> we, four. We got two apiece. <laughs> two apiece. So four total every time we went. Yeah, for several days in a row, that was a lot of McDonald's. But we um, went six times at least. Well, I guess we could find out exactly. Well, the first couple we opened for an episode on this channel, and then every set of four after this was another day we went. Uh, but I opened some along the way, so it's not a very good count. But we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen packs to open. Actually, that's not it. Um... We're going to open these today. I also have a few that I already opened from some other packs sitting here. And then I've got a stack one of you guys sent me, which is pretty, pretty banging. And actually, while I open these, Hannah's going to take these and start kind of trying to keep track of what we have and don't have. Because if we get to a point where we have them all, I'd very much so like to keep a few packs uh, sealed. But uh, two more things I have here. Someone sent us these in the mail. We open these up on mail time for tomorrow's episode. So sneak peek. Uh, Dear Tindo and Hannah, I love your channel. Here are some Pokemon cards from McDonald's. I hope you enjoy, which is pretty awesome. Uh, and there's uh, two packs inside of here. So, boom. So that's a total of 18. And then at the very end, when we're done with all of this, I am going to uh, also open some more cards that we got in mail time today. Uh, there's some here in hard plastic sleeves, so I'm feeling like they're probably going to be pretty good. But let's chat a little bit before we get started. Uh, how am I sounding? Let me know. Hannah, a little test test. Um, hello, my name is Hannah. We haven't done a live video in a little while, so uh, this rig has not been used in some time. Uh, but clean out crew, my man, welcome. Glad you're here. Um, unfortunately, my island of Guam isn't doing their McDonald's Pokemon cards. That sucks, Rose. That's the worst. League Underground, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Robert, glad you're here. McDonald's food too greasy. I agree. We haven't been eating much McDonald's at all in quite a long time. So to eat those Happy Meals every day for several days was a bummer. But for whatever reason, our McDonald's were absolutely not selling the packs individually. They were, uh, we tried a couple of McDonald's around here. We even asked the McDonald's of Vegas and they were like, no, 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 no. How's old Betsy? Old Betsy is not in good shape. <laughs> She's about to get hauled off by the, uh, the junker people. Uh, Gia News, welcome. Glad you guys are here. Riblets, glad you're here. Uh, you guys comment before we get started. Let me know. Uh, any, are any of you like collecting the cards from this set like really heavy or did you just kind of get some for the entertainment? Did anybody get some for resale? I know a few people on those first couple days were getting the Pikachu out of the pack, which mind you, when we open these cards, we're looking for the hollow Pikachu. Really after that, the rest of it will fall in line pretty easy. But uh, people were getting those hollow Pikachus in the first couple days and selling them for like... I think $75 is something oh, really? I heard. Yeah, 75 bones. That's crazy. Home Fry from Idaho. Welcome, welcome. Have you chosen a name for the truck? No, we haven't. We're, uh, we tried to before our last trip was over. We've got like a nice list of the names that people have suggested and that we've come up with that we like, but we haven't picked one for sure. Uh, Derek, welcome. Glad you're here. Uh, McDonald's will have them in April here in Canada. That's awesome. I hope, I really hope, uh, Joe, you'll have to let us know look up the American release and then look at yours and see if you got anything different. Probably not. It's going to be, probably be the same prints, but you never know. Uh, that's awesome. But uh, you've gotten a few for resale. That's good. Yeah, I know a lot of people did on our Discord. Uh, do me a favor before we jump into this. I'm going to start opening some packs. You guys make sure you hit that like button before we get started. Uh, we already have a considerably larger crowd, about 50 people watching right now. It's larger than I thought it would be. It's been a long time since we've done a live on this video, on this channel. This is kind of nerve, kind of nerve wracking. We want Hollow <laughs> Pikachu. Basically, when we get that, we'll know the hard part's over. Also, these packages, if you haven't opened any of these yet, these packages are paper, whereas normally um, these are made out of kind of like a tinny metal. Four cards, uh, Bulbasaur, Piplup, T-Pig, T-Pig, and Torchic. That's not a bad start, the Bulbasaur. Is it hollow? Yeah, Ooh. it is hollow, right? Right off the bat. Maybe we'll just get, knock out Squirtle next, and then Charmander, and then I don't even know actually if there is a Charmander in the set. I haven't looked at the whole list, but Hannah has the checklist in front of her, so 
she's gonna kind of keep track of where we're at. We're not gonna have a very good visual representation of it. I should have printed out a checklist. I was pretty certain it was gonna be Bulbasaur again, but Trico Hollow. Figure out how to show you guys these best way as possible. Trico, Snivy, Litten. What a ridiculous name for a Pokemon. <laughs> but Trico's nice. All right. So you're just, Hannah's over here. It's a little bit off camera, but Hannah's over here uh, just lining them all up. Every There's basically 25 cards and each one comes in hollow and non-hollow. So we're going to uh, be setting those on top of each other. Then we'll go through them all at the end and see if we have the whole set. You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough to complete it with just 16 packs. There's inevitably probably it's probably gonna be like a Pikachu or something we're gonna be lacking. Uh, if you someone commented at the beginning of the stream though and said that they had all but two, Ooh. what was that last two that you didn't get your hands on? I'm not a Pokemon fan. I just watch your videos every morning. Love them. I appreciate you saying so. Charmander is crying in the rain. Oh, <laughs> uh, the Great White would be a good name for our bread truck. That's not bad. To be honest with you, I don't know. It's it's a really difficult decision to make because whatever it is, you know, we're stuck with. Um, let's see. Uh, Reptar and Coke reminds me of my 21st birthday. I didn't realize you were wearing it. A... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Can you do a kickflip on stream? I wish. You just want to see me bust my butt, don't you? <laughs> that won't go well. All right, let's keep open them. We just got to get to... I just want to tear into all of them and come home with that Pikachu. All right, we got a hollow, a hollow piggy. Have you got to the to I'm those not yet? The reds yet, no. All right, well there you go. Red is next though. I'm happy. I'm. Uh, it's a good start. I'm really excited to get to these. Someone sent us in the, these in the mail today, and uh, I've refrained from looking at them. Come on! Every time I open this, and there's not. A Pikachu. I'm a little. I'm a little salty about it, but it is good that every single pack here comes with a hollow. So there's a holly hollow chestpin. Do we have that yet? I uh, no. Sweet. All right. Let's just keep moving. I'm interested though. The person that said that they have almost the whole set. I want to know what they're missing. All right. There's non hollow Pikachu and Sobble. You're not to the waters yet, though, are you? Not quite yet. Um, let's see. Need a hollow Bulbasaur and a hollow T pig. Okay. Well, let's see. We we pulled the hollow T pig, so luckily that doesn't look like it's going to be too hard to get. That's what that's what sucks about there being two versions of everything in a set like this is that you're inevitably even after buying a hundred packs still going to have that one that you need. I uh, love watching y'all's videos. You guys are amazing. Thank you for saying so. Are you going to install black light in the bread truck for the 90s nostalgia and then put stars on the ceiling? Yeah, that'd be great. Hey, my bedroom growing up had stars on the ceiling. I didn't have a black light in there, though. You know what? Joe just predicted this next pack right here has got Pikachu. Ooh. I, I hope guess, he's right. I guess we got to see if he's right. Sorry, bro. It's a uh, Poplio? How do you even say that? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so there's Squirtle. I'd like to get that hollow Squirtle as well. Ooh. What do you want me to do, Hannah? Separate the hollows from the non-hollows? Um, no, just color would be helpful. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Hannah should sing the poker rap while we do this, they say. <laughs> you know, did yeah. anybody comment below? Did anybody watch the live Pokemon Post Malone concert? Here's a hollow Scorbunny. Ooh, I, I think, Scorbunny. yeah, we don't have that, so put that in the pile. Yeah. Do we not have the non-hollow either? No, we don't. Okay. Let's keep moving. We're going to open every one of these, which is going to be a bummer. I would love to, for some video way down the road, have 20 of these unopened, but that's not realistic, is it? Because we got we to gotta collect them all. Uh, hollow Cyndaquil. Do we have that? There um, you go. No, we don't. Yay! Sweet. This is going well. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Uh, I'm going to be interested. I'm just super interested to see where we end up. You said the name right. Well, that's good because I, I will say already these Pokemon, they're you know later generations. So I'm like, what what is this? <laughs> Those are really hard. <laughs> I'm getting better at you know some of the latest generations of Pokemon that I was just completely and hilariously uneducated in. I'm getting a little bit better, but 
it's I, I'm not so bad at recognizing them anymore because we've made enough Pokemon content. I've collected enough Pokemon cards. I am, however, pretty bad at pronouncing them, even if I do recognize them. It's a thing. Uh, no board games tonight. No, uh, we are going to try to get into doing some live board games, though, eventually. Uh, it's tough to say. Actually, if you want a little sneak peek of what's going on, the only reason we're doing this live video right now is because we're going to go live on our main channel, on the Tendo channel tomorrow, and uh, with this setup, and I wanted to test it first. I wanted to be able to sit down and watch this video back and uh, make sure everything looks good and sounds good. So, spoiler alerts. Uh, Post Malone's concert was cool. Too short, though. Yeah, 13 minutes. But I will say I do understand why it was so short because that was some pretty great uh, animation. And I'm pretty sure it was screen capped. I'm sorry, motion capped. I'm pretty sure they put a suit on him and he danced around in that little circle. And, the, you know, so it was a lot of work. It was, they probably put days and days and days and days and weeks of work into just that 13 minutes. But I, I didn't expect, because I didn't know anything about it, I did not expect him to break into a Hootie and the Blowfish song. That, <laughs> that was definitely my highlight. I love that a lot. That was pretty awesome. Um, you're live at the same time as Logan Paul opening a first edition box. Well, this channel's not big enough, I think, for that to make almost any difference at all. That's okay. <laughs> I, thought he got, I thought he got out of Pokemon. I don't, I don't know much about what he's doing other than like you scroll through YouTube and other people you do watch makes content about Logan Paul doing Pokemon cards. And I thought, I don't know. I thought he got out of it. But what do I know? Uh, you will pull that Pikachu. I can feel it. Hey, I feel like the odds are pretty good. I mean, we're not even halfway through yet. So it could happen. Uh, wait, it said 7 p.m. It's only 6 here. Well, it's probably confusing. It was 7 my time. So, depending on where you're watching it, the time difference is probably getting everyone a little confused. All right, let's go for the next one. Smack it for Pikachu. <laughs> Did you think that was funny? Okay. <laughs> All right, well, that one was a rip. It was another Litten. No. I'm having trouble. Wait, is it a hollow one? Yeah. Yeah, we need that. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, I haven't already pulled one of those? No. All right, well, here's the rest of them. Woohoo. All right. So... Are we only missing one fire Pokemon at all? Yes. Okay. Don't ask me which one it is yet. I don't know. <laughs> all right. Well, here is a hollow chest, but I don't see one over there, but I could have sworn we had one already. Uh, we do have the hollow chest, but we don't have okay. the regular we, one. Okay. We don't have the non-hollow. That's funny. We pulled two hollow chest pins. Come on, Pikachu. I would like to know what the pull rate officially is for that Pikachu. We've got a hollow Snivy. We which... have Finnekin. We need a hollow Finnegan. It looks like we... Sweet, we didn't have the hollow Snivy yet. Yay. Goody, goody, goody. Um, I, I will be a little bummed, I'll be honest. I'll be a little bummed if we don't pull the hollow Pikachu. Visualize it, yeah, everybody at once. Channel your energy to me <laughs> for, the, for the yellow Pikachu. Um, I love thrifting. Wish I could uh, get the chance to meet you guys. We have a pretty big Goodwill in Winston-Salem. I love to shop at. Uh, that would be a pretty good one. You know, um, we're, we're thinking about traveling that way later this year. Uh, there's a lot of reasons for us to head up northeast, and there's a lot of places we could go on the way to there. Uh, so hopefully middle of the year we could be heading in that direction. That would be a lot of fun. Uh, it's 12.15 p.m. Sunday. In Guam. That's wild. Uh, the Kanto starters are so hard to pull. Yeah, I know. Uh, everything. I, I, like, it's Pokemon is, uh, Pokemon is old as time, and they make them that hard to get. It just means I'm going to have to go find a McDonald's around here that's still doing this. Yet another hollow Trico. Um, which grass Pokemon have you figured out that we need, or do we have them all? The grass Pokemon we need, we need a Grookey. Well, here he is. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> just not hollow. That's okay. We just need one of them at least. So as of right now, we have, let's see. I'm trying to see here. We've got all of the grass Pokemon, but not all the hollows, basically. But we've got them all common. Except for Chespin, which we do have the hollow and not the common. Same with Trico. We don't have the, the common of Trico. All right. Well, we've got six left. So this whole pile is doubles? Yes. All right. We've got a whole pile of doubles here. Just so you can see. How many hollow doubles do we have? 
Uh, two or three. Well, these these hollow doubles are all right because we'll sell this stuff in our antique mall. Um, it is going to be an interesting thing, though, to see. This will kind of give a good idea of pull rates because we're opening enough packs and getting close enough to having all of them. Do we not have any other electric Pokemon or is Pikachu? There is only one. There's literally only Pikachu. Yes. All right, well, we've got another hollow Bulbasaur, so oh. there is no need for that. What other basic Pokemon are we missing? Like, which is the we fire need, one? We um, need Charmander Hollow. We need Squirtle Hollow. What about fire? Because um, I don't see Finnick in there. We need Finnick. Sweet. Yay! Sweet, sweet. So we have all the fire Pokemon now. We have all now, the fire now. Just not the hollows. And we need a Toadile for the water. All right, so for water, we're looking for Toadile. So Toadile is literally the last one we don't have at least one of, right? Let me double check that theory. We need... Ooh, baby. Yes, Toadile. Toadile is the only one we need one card of. Okay, well, none of those are any help. What about this hollow monkey here? Ah, Chimchar, Chimchar. We need sweet. Chimchar. All right, Yay. we didn't have that one. So, four packs left, and we basically need a hollow Turtwig, a non-hollow Chespin, a hollow Rowlet, a hollow Grokey, and then we need a hollow Finnegan, a hollow Torchic, a hollow Charmander, and then a hollow Squirtle, both of, what's his name? Um, the Toadile. <laughs> we need both of Toadile, and then we need a hollow Mukip. And then a hollow Papio, and then a hollow Pikachu. So it's not a lot. A lot of those I named that I said we need the hollow, we don't need the non hollow. But if we just pull, who's this? Toadile. If we just pulled the Toadile, we'll have pulled one of everything. Come on, Pika. Every time it's not yellow, I get mad. All right, there's a hollow Grokey. Oh, we need that. We do need that. Okay, yes. well. And then a non hollow Pikachu. All right. We're going to go ahead and buzz through these last three, just see if we get them. All right. Hollow Sobble? Mm, no. Don't need? No okay. toe dial. No toe dial. Two more. If it's the last one, I'm going to run away. All right. Well, another Hollow Bulbasaur. No toe dial. It's interesting. I really thought this could be enough. Yeah. Oh. Hollow Oswalt? We don't need that? No. All right. Well, let's... let's uh, Let's swing over here real quick and look at the sets that we do have. So, um, trying to figure out how to do this. Hannah's got them laid all out. So, you can kind of see here. We have, we, we literally basically started with about nothing and got everything but Toad Isle is supposed to be here. And then you can see here with the rest of them. Zoom all the way out here. That's pretty close. So does that, how many more packs do you think it would be to get the rest of them? If we got one of everything we needed, we need at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine packs because one hollow in each. And right. Hopefully, in one of those packs, we would get a toe dial. <laughs> just, which is so funny. Just like the person that said they were only missing the one non hollow. It's just, it's just bad luck, really, <laughs> is what it turns out to be. Um, but I, you know, I didn't expect to get them all. You know, it's frustrating. It's about like I did this same kind of thing with just buying them and getting movie tickets and stuff with uh, Detective Pikachu stuff. And I've got every card from that except for like two non hollows one of the black star promo hollows and then like there's four alternate versions of cards that have the movie logo on them yeah. not unlike these cards have the pikachu uh right in the corner of the image there's a there's a random set of four cards for the detective pikachu stuff that i still don't have because it only came in like a i don't remember what now but a cereal box or something i've put mm. them in my ebay cart several times and just order them and get them out of the way but i still haven't ever pulled the trigger um uh, might just need to trade yeah uh, could be possible. I really, I'd, I'd like to, on this channel, p end up having pulled the whole set. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. At any rate, I've got enough of these to get a small little binder book and, and put them in there and put some McDonald's stickers on it and just, you know, call it done or call it started. Uh, let's see. Looking good. My McDonald's is sold out there giving away Toy Story. Yeah, ours, ours, our closest one was real quick. 
And then we were like, oh, well, that sucks. This is over. We're not going to get it anymore. And then we ended up in Vegas on our trip, and we were able to get quite a few more there. Uh, enjoyed your trip to the Grand Canyon. Planning on going later this year, hopefully November. Let us know how it goes. Comment below sometime later. Uh, when you do go, let us know what you think. We had a good time. I, of all that traveling we just did, though, I think I had the most fun in one of those hiking spots that we went with our friends and then in Vegas. Uh, it kind of opened my eyes to the bins in Vegas that I'm excited to go back to. Uh, but yeah, it was fun. So excited for the remakes of Diamond and Pearl, but I am stoked for, yeah, both both sound exciting. 16 Half Moon Meals, and I pulled two hollow Pikachus up here. Uh, sold them both for 95. That's awesome. Wow. That's super awesome. Check prices online. Some hollows are going for a good chunk of change, so that's good. I guess, you know, I guess they didn't make enough for demand is really what it comes down to. Yeah. Most McDonald's, I don't think all yet, but most McDonald's are sold out of them. So collectors sitting around that didn't get enough. Yeah. They're ordering them it's pretty funny. heavy. The the one that's closest to us by the house, we went two days in a row, got Happy Meals, and the mm -hmm. third day we showed up, they were like, oh, yeah, no, we're giving out Connect Four games. So. Right, but then we went back again a couple days later, they had some more, so they got a reshipment. Yeah. But it didn't last long after that. It really didn't. And in the, the getting the um, Pikachu boxes was hit or miss. Mm -hmm. I think the first day we went, they didn't have them. The second day, they did. And then I don't think they had them at all after that, which is funny that yeah. they didn't, they, they undersold the boxes. But I think where they might have shot themselves in the foot a little bit, I don't know if you guys knew about this, but they also uh, included a coupon on their app that allowed you to buy one, get one free for Happy Meals. So everyone was buying twice as many as they would have otherwise, which was pretty funny. Uh, haven't opened any of the packs that I got. I hadn't either until just now, except for the first two we did for the episode that was on this channel a week, a couple weeks back. I didn't want to open all of these. I really wanted to. I really wanted to just have a good time ten years from now, randomly with some of these packs. But uh, I, I got caught up in the moment, and we we had to put them together. Uh, but I, I'm not mad about it. I, I really do hope to find one more McDonald's around here that has them. Uh, and also, you know, somebody sent us the, two of the packs that we opened today. I should have set those aside so we knew exactly what packs came from. What was it, Melissa? Yeah. yeah. From Melissa. All right, well, we've got one more thing of cards to open before we get out of here. Um, you guys comment below while I get into this and let me know what kind of live shows you would like to see us do on this channel because uh, we're going to get into doing a lot, 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 lot more live stuff uh, on this channel really soon. At least once a week, sometimes two times a week, hopefully from now on. So I'd like to know from you guys what you'd like to see. Uh, but this was also sent to me in the mail today, and whenever I see that it's got some cards that are not only in hard sleeves, but they wrap them in bubble wrap, it's like, you know they've sent you something good they want you to take care of. So I'm going to try to be delicate with these, and, uh, ooh, I didn't even see that. This one has a post-it note on it that says, uh, look last, so All right. we're going to save that for the end. So I guess let's start with this other one. All right. Uh, it's a Tyranitar that I don't recognize. Beautiful. And there's some, some Japanese cards here. I think I should put all those together. I don't have many Japanese cards. What I've been doing thus far with my Japanese Pokemon card collection, a lot of the Japanese stuff I have is just like base set, fossil set, and stuff. So I'm not, I don't have any of those sets big enough yet to really um, put them in binders. They're all in long boxes, you know, taking really good care of and stuff. So I've just been putting the the japanese version of all the base set cards that i come across behind that card in the english set and one of these days when i get to bindering it i'm just gonna like binder them all in a row so be interested to see what this japanese stuff is but we'll get to that last i think very nice uh i'm just looking at some of the set symbols as i go because like i don't recognize this at all electrovire floor just ooh beautiful barbacle Del Fox, that's a beautiful card. Ooh, Ry, how do you pronounce that one? Ryko? You, you try. How do you pronounce that one? Ooh, that's awesome. This is a Black Star promo from Sun and Moon. Dusk, Main, Necrozma. Necrozma. And then here's a Psychic Necrozma. All right. Sorry, I'm getting a little off screen here. And Forest and Forest. Psychic memory. Ooh. 
Hollow Nitto King, Reverse Hollow Nitto King from Evolutions. Ooh. I'm going to set that aside because, ooh, so that's Fossil. So that's, a, that's not the same set that that, that last uh, Nitto King was. This is the actual uh, Fossil set. That's awesome. And then Base Set B Drill, which is pretty awesome. Electro Jungle Set, Kaboo Tops. Hitmon Lee. Ooh, okay, so here's the Japanese cards, and they, a couple of them are hollow. So, Japanese base set, Poliwhirl, Polyrath. <laughs> Do you know which one? Vitaplume. Polyrath. Weeping Bell from the gym set, and then also one of the gym sets. Uh, very nice. What, you can't read Japanese? No. <laughs> no, I can't. All right, and that leaves the one. This makes me nervous. Someone did this to us a few weeks back, and it was the, one of the Charizards from um, Evolutions. And I was like, what, excuse me? <laughs> All right, are you ready? Just close your eyes. I'm going to close my first. eyes and show it to the camera. Let me make sure I'm on camera. I keep drifting off like this. Uh, this is a new setup. We're not used to it. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, I'm closing my eyes. What is it? Oh. Oh. Beautiful. Do you know why that's special? Is it, is it from base? It is from base, but that's not why it's special. Oh, is it uh, shadowless? Or no? Well, I didn't look at that. No, it is not. Um, still not why it's special. Do you know? One more guess. Look at it close, real close. You guys comment below. Do you know why that's special? I don't know. Hannah doesn't see it. We'll see if you guys know. I'll tell you. I'll tell you in a second. I'm sure people are screaming it at you right now. <laughs> Hey, I guess two of the reasons it was special it could have been special. All right, what else do you see? The reverse hollow Nitto King is from Evolutions. Isn't that what I said? Uh, yes, they are commenting what it is. League Underground saw it first. It's his first edition. Yes, oh, that's okay. why it's special. So again, in my organization of Pokemon cards, what I've been doing is instead of having some separate box for first edition, which really only happened in base set, or in the earliest sets. I just, you know, I'll have Electrode regular, sometimes I'll have a Shadowless, and then behind that I'll put First Edition. So like, at some point when I get to Bindering base set, because there's all those different weird variants to collect, I'm either gonna have like three separations inside of one binder with each of those, or, you know, I'm gonna line them up in some weird way where all those are in there, but there you go, that's awesome. I probably only have, t this is probably my third First Edition from base set. I can't remember off the top of my head what the other ones are, but they're real random ones, just like this one. You know, Electrode's pretty random. Uh, it's not like I have any first edition Charizards or anything like that. That's pretty awesome. Uh, that excites me just as much as all those Pokemon cards, or all those uh, McDonald's cards did. Uh, I didn't see, you know what? I can't, I can't get a good look at it. It doesn't look like it has shadows, but sometimes I get a little nervous making that judgment. Yeah, you're right. It appears to be shadowless first edition, because here's, this card isn't base set. Find a base set card. Here we go. So there's what shadows look like on base. It totally is shadowless. So you were you were right, even though I was looking for something else. <laughs> you were you were half right, half wrong. It is shadowless. That's wild. It's beautiful. So in case you're watching and you don't know what it means, you see how there is a basically you know Photoshop photo layer of a shadow behind the. Uh, image on the card and then there is not one here. This is actually pretty special to collectors. So in my collection box from this set, from base set, I have, you know, I have most of the commons and then about a third of the commons I have a second card in the box that's just that without a shadow. A shadowless first edition. It might I say in pretty good condition. A little rough around the edges on the back but the front of it and the centering of it's pretty, it's okay. It's a little high but I don't get too obsessed with that stuff. Really, even to just have something first edition, much less shadowless, kind of tickles my fancy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, what are your cats up to? Uh, they are currently locked in our bedroom and meowing their head off because they yeah. want out. Um, that's awesome. Well, guys, thanks for hanging out with us. Great it. I don't, you know, I, I have not yet dove into the world of grading. I might do that one of these days for the sake of content, but on my own personal... Left to my own personal devices and stuff, I'm not terribly interested in it. Uh, it's just a hassle, especially right now with the heightened popularity of Pokemon. You're talking about sending cards off in the mail for months on end before you get them back graded. Just not terribly interested in that right now. 
Um, it'd be hard not to, I guess, if I came across something that when graded would be worth thousands of dollars, which this would not grade high enough to be worth quite enough to make it worth the trouble because it is off center and it is a little rough. Again, if you're watching, I know a lot of people watching this know these things, but just in case someone's watching who's not, if you put your eyeballs on this card real hard and judge how it is centered top to bottom and left to right, both on the front and back, and then the edges of the cards, you send these cards to a professional grading company that will grade this on basically uh, a, a set of scales from one to 10 of its per overall perfection. And uh, sometimes when you get the perfect 10, with certain cards, it makes them incredibly valuable. So when you hear about these Charizard cards being, and you probably don't know this, Hannah's not too far into the world of Pokemon, when you get a Charizard that's base set, now here's what gets a little crazy, base set first edition. There, we all know kids, if we weren't kids ourselves, that had those Charizards when we were a kid, but we of course were really rough with them and put them in our pockets and uh, put them in binders unsleeved. A lot of us had those cards. So even if we had that card now, a lot of people just rush to this, this conclusion that they have a card that's worth multi-thousands, sometimes hundred thousand dollars, and it's not really the case. The real rarity, the, the hundred thousands, the million dollar cards, they're the ones that are gem mint, perfectly centered, and all this stuff. It's a pretty long rabbit hole if you don't know about it. And I would love to get into it, but I'm really just gonna have to come across a card that there's a good reason to. Uh, but there's just a lot to it. A whole lot to it. Uh, where are the cards from the bins? That's a good question. I have a whole shelf in our game room, our card room. We have a game room and a card room now. Actually, it's a corner <laughs> of a room. <laughs> uh, they're just all on a shelf. I've got, I've got, I can't think of how to gauge how many cards it is, but I've got bags and bags of cards that we found at Sabres on half off day, as well as handfuls of cards from the bins that have all been gathering in one place. I'm gonna make a whole video. It might be next week's live video where we just open all those bags and go through those stacks of cards that I've found at Goodwills and thrift stores recently. Uh, that very well may be our next live video. Um, yeah, and people are suggesting other grading companies. This is difficult. This is, it's again, it's not what this video is about, but like there's multiple grading companies that all have their own. People have their preference for one grading company over the other. Then there's other new grading companies that really don't have a lot of history doing it. So like, you know, those, some of those uh, boxes full of nonsense we bought at Walmart that have had graded cards in them. Yeah. Those companies, like they're not the main ones. You know, they're, they're people that, you know, so, you know, once again, you don't want to take, at the moment with the way the market is, you don't want to have your cards graded at too unknown of a grading company and then try to sell them for big bucks. But again, just not terribly interested. Uh, though it will be fun to get into one of these days. But I appreciate you guys hanging out with us. I appreciate all the questions. I appreciate Hannah for organizing the cards. Um, we're going to have to go get those into some sleeves right now. And uh, I'm going to definitely have to baby this electrode. I'll be leaving it in the hard plastic. Uh, I'm pretty excited about these Japanese cards too, though Though I've got to like kind of figure out what to do with some of them because it's not something I've built the infrastructure for to collect. But before we get out of here, guys, do comment and tell me, like I asked before, what you'd like to see us do live. I mean, do you want to see some board games, just more Pokemon stuff? We'd love to know. Um, because we are going to do at least one live video a week on this channel from now on. And I'd, I'd love for it to always be pulling Pokemon, but you can imagine how expensive that could get. Uh, there are some new sets that we haven't pulled anything from on this channel yet, so if we can get our hands on some of those e Elite Trainer boxes, that might be a good one. Uh, but I appreciate you guys hanging out with us. We're going to go ahead and get out of here, and we're going to go watch some TV and chill for the rest of the night. <laughs> Actually, I've got to edit the main channel's yeah. video, but I'll do that and then we'll watch TV. So you guys have a good night. Thanks for hanging out with us and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.